What's up dudes and dudettes, my name's Scythe and we are back again for another Trove Dragon tutorial. This time we're gonna be updating it because quite a few things have changed since the last dragon tutorial video that I did like a million zillion years ago. So, first of all, the big change is that rather than needing Mastery Rank 30, you're only gonna need Mastery Rank 20, so just press C, check right here, it shows your Mastery Rank. And you can also see all the beautiful rewards that you get for the higher levels and stuff. Mastery Rank 20 is not nearly that hard to get. But anyway, once Mastery 20 shows up, you're going to see these. These are going to show up every real life hour. So if it's 2 o'clock, you're going to see one of these challenges. If it's 2.30, this challenge is gone and you're not going to see it. If it's 3 o'clock, you're going to see the next hour challenge. And these happen regardless of whether you are online or not. They are not like daily quests or anything like that. You can miss these. So if you sign in at 2.15, there's only going to be 5 minutes left on the challenge because each challenge that shows up is actually 20 minutes. Now, as you can see right here, complete dungeons in the desert frontier. Times three bonus for Uber five, so long as you can handle it, and times four bonus for Uber six. So if you can handle Uber six, you need to have a combination of XP level 20 and gear level whatever you can get to get your hands on level 36. Then you can actually go into U6. I would recommend it highly, even if you don't have like proper gear for that class. I would strongly recommend that you go into U6, even if you're just leeching and just hanging out near dungeons where everyone's completing it, because it's a difference between five to 10 minutes. Like seriously, uh, there are groups in U6 that can get the challenge done in like eight minutes. And the bonus class, you're always gonna wanna try your best to have the proper gear so that you can be on the bonus class because otherwise it takes a lot longer. It's almost impossible to actually get the full dragon challenge complete if you're not using the bone class or bonus class. So Tomb Raider Lunar Lancer. And it also shows you the current reward, and this is based on this badge right here. You can kind of see that we're actually rocking badge number two right now because normally it's zero out of like 10, so, 10 or nine or, I, I forget what the default is, but either way, pretty much once you complete your first dungeon, you're going to get two bone caches, be bumped up to the uh, second badge right here, get another bunch of caches for completing even more dungeons. This is a point system, not completing 40 dungeons. Don't worry, it's not that brutal. Anyway, once you get to tier three, then completing that gives you one guaranteed soul of whatever the current dragon is. And then there's also this daily bonus, which is only gotten for the first dragon challenge that you do of the day. And these dragon challenges reset on uh, the, the same time as the daily quest reset. So if, if you got your daily quest, that means chances are your daily dragon soul is sitting in there. That that daily dragon soul is actually non-tradable too. So it, it's just for your own sake. Now, the way that you actually tell what dragons you're getting, we're actually rocking the maximum bone dragon right here. As you press Y as your default key, go to badges, scroll all the way down. Here's all the different dragons. Uh, we're just gonna go to the bone dragon because it's the current dragon in the game. Dragon swap every month, like I think I said. I hope I said it. Um, but either way, you hover over any of these badges and you can see how many souls you have out of how many is required for whatever the reward is. So your first dragon soul is going to give you the bone dragon helmet. At your fifth soul, you're gonna get the ally. At 10 souls, you're going to get the first mount, and that is just a normal mount. He doesn't fly or anything like that. 25 souls, you get the arsenal. 50 souls, you get the bone dragon mount, which can actually fly. Looks very similar to this one, but doesn't have as many video effects. Then you're going to get a passive, which this is very, very handy because as you can see like e each of the dragons gives you a different type of passive most of them give you jump and magic find though as far as i can tell yeah jump and magic find for all of them but see like five extra regen for the moon dragon as opposed to 10 critical damage for the bone dragon and then finally at 100 out of 100 souls you're going to get the maxed out dragon now i, I can't say that that applies to all of the dragons because even over here like the moon wing dragon was Oh, it was kind of the same, so maybe it's gonna stick the stick to the same amount each time, hopefully. Uh, but otherwise, they keep kind of changing the amount of souls required for X items and stuff like that. So hopefully, it's gonna all stay the same. Now, the way that you get dragons that are out of circulation is you gotta get your hands on a dragon crucible. Now, you can't actually get your hands on a dragon crucible. We kind of uh, bought that from an alpha player actually to get one in TP1. But for those that are not in TP1. You just hold H, go to the hub, go to the bottom left of the hub, right over here, this beautiful statue right here, not the house in the background. 
go into the basement, and here's the dragon crucible. Bloop! Now, this is where you get retroactive souls, and if you're wondering where you get dragon coins, of course you get them from the dragon caches. They have a small percent chance of giving you dragon coins, and as you can see right here, like, it's not that difficult, so long as you have the extra resources and are doing a lot of dragon challenges to get yourself the Moonwing Dragon. Now, the most brutal one is the Azulian Dragon, because that was back in the day, like, this was the first dragon in the game. So, as you can see right here, you're only getting one soul per two dragon coins, 50 glacial shards and one golden soul so it's absolutely brutal to get a hundred azulian souls retroactively as opposed to all the modern dragons you're getting three souls a pop so that's actually not bad and the purifying flame right here which also costs a dragon coin and a bunch of other stuff uh you can kind of ignore this because as far as dragon challenge is concerned you don't need this this is just to craft your gear up from shadow level five to shadow level six that is radiant gear which i have a different uh completely different video tutorial on that in the description below but either way that's pretty much it for dragon challenges the keynotes is that they change every month you need to be mastery rank 20 in order to qualify for them and if you can leech but otherwise thank you all so much for watching ladies and gentlemen i hope i explained this in a way that was helpful and hopefully hopefully we topped our last uh dragon tutorial video so thank you all so much for watching i appreciate it very much sign and stay epic everybody